Here's a dramatization about how the pitch for sex tape went. Hey, you know that really interesting and original script we got in today? Yeah. Yeah, throw that out. We're gonna make sex tape. Sex Tape is directed by Jake Kasdan and stars Jason Siegel and Cameron Diaz, the team that brought you Bad Teacher. This movie's about a couple that decides their sex life is just going So they decide to make a sex tape to try to liven things up and accidentally send it to all of their friends. So they have to spend the rest of the movie trying to get that file back so that their lives aren't ruined. The movie should really be called Sex File. I like Jason Siegel. I think he's a really funny guy, and in the past he's proven himself to be a pretty capable comedy writer. Cameron Diaz used to give really good performances, but now she really just stars in a string of terrible comedies. Sex Tape is no different. In fact, this is one of the worst movies I've seen all year. Now I know what you're thinking, Chris, why is this movie so bad? Why are you hating on this movie? They're not trying to be Oscar worthy. They're not trying to be great. Why wouldn't a movie try to be great? Every movie should try to be great. If you're gonna have an opportunity to make a good movie, make one, because they didn't seem to care at all about that while they were writing the script for them this movie. This movie was so maddeningly unfunny that I could not believe that so many funny people got together in a room and decided to make this thing. It really is a movie with one idea, possibly two. The first one being, hey, let's make a movie in which we can use the iPad a whole bunch of times, where we can talk about its features, show its features, and get a ton of advertising money from Apple. Idea number two is, hey, let's make a funny movie about sex, and we'll have sex in the title, and it'll make money because sex. The most surprising thing about this movie is that it's actually a Sony Pictures movie with so many Apple products in this film, I'm surprised they actually endorsed this movie. If you've seen the trailer for this movie, not only have you seen every single part that's even remotely funny in the movie, but you know exactly where it's going. If you watch the trailer for this movie, you know they're going to have sex, they're gonna record it, and then they're gonna spend the rest of the movie in a whole bunch of embarrassing conversations in which they try to avoid the fact that they made a sex tape and a whole bunch of people are seeing it. And it's truly one of those movies in which every character in it is completely unrealistic and fake. Everyone in this movie is a movie character. Like every character in this movie is insane. They're at this movie level where you're a character and you're reading dialogue that's really, really funny, but it's stuff that no one would ever say. So the entire movie's plot doesn't work because no one in the movie feels like an actual person. The movie tries to set up a realistic relationship in which a man and a woman's marriage has gotten to that point where it's just not really happening for them anymore. And from that semi-realistic setup, then starts this movie in which every character is a cartoon. People say and do things that are so idiotically stupid that they just aren't funny because you can't stop but realize it's so fake. Now there are movies in which that works, like Dumb and Dumber for instance, but that's a movie about two incredibly dumb people. They're supposed to do things like that. In a movie that sets up two characters that are supposed to to be smart and apparently filthy stinking rich because they can just give away thousands of dollars without batting an eye in this movie. These very rich, very smart people who have a nice house and nice family do the dumbest things ever throughout this entire movie. It's also one of those movies in which the filmmakers assume that everyone who watches this movie is exactly like them because everyone in this movie is like this perfect American family with two children, a ton of money, and no one knows what these people do for a living. They just have all this money. Okay, so I said all that, but is it funny? No, it's not funny at all. There isn't a single joke that hit for me in this movie. It was just, whoops, a whole bunch of people saw our sex tape. Time to be really embarrassing and chase around and fall out of windows and get bit by dogs. You're making a comedy. You have but one goal, make me laugh. I didn't laugh. I love to laugh in movies. I love to watch movies that are funny. This movie just wasn't funny. It was a painful excuse to use sex as a marketing tool in which an entire movie revolves around, whoops, lost my sex tape. Wow, let's make a 90 minute movie about that. And maybe we can do some Apple product placement along the way. This is one of the worst movies I've seen so far this year. Jason Segel's not funny in the film, despite the fact that I like him. Cameron Diaz is Cameron Diaz in a movie again. You look and there's Cameron Diaz. She's not playing a character. All the supporting characters are also so incredibly fake that there's just nothing real that can come out of these situations that are supposed to be funny. Sex tape, you get an F. You are a terrible, terrible excuse for a comedy. Do not see this film. Go watch Dawn of the Planet of the Apes again, please, because that movie actually deserves your funds. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuck menage. Yeah.